Hey y'all, it's Amanda, Tap Mom in the Big Brigade. Welcome back to Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotionals for 365 days of daily devotionals. Um, today is Tuesday, February 1st, and first we'll start with the Bible verse and then the inspirational story. The Bible verse goes as follows. When the priest had offered for all time the sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, Hebrews 10, 12. Now for our inspirational story. I love crafts and recently stenciled a plaque for my office. This whiteboard with black lettering speaks to my soul. The wording is simple and the message clear. All your sins are forgiven, even that one. The sign doesn't match my his, historic home's decor, yet it's necessary. This reminder keeps me grounded in Jesus' limitless love. Just as important, maybe more, I need to trust that I am forgiven for everything, even my sins that seem unforgivable. When Jesus came into the world, he walked with, the ta- with tax collectors, prostitutes, the de- demon-possessed, the le- and lepers, he selected a man named Saul as his disciple, a Roman who had spent his life persecuting believers. Jesus found the good in each of these people and taught them to see it in themselves. In his supreme wisdom, as he hung on the cross, he forgave everyone. His purity covers us for eternity because he paid for it every sin, past, present, and future, not just the tiny misdoings, but even the worst, shameful, most vile thing we've ever done, been or thought, yes, even that. I live in the joyful knowledge of Jesus' boundless devotion, but when I forget, I can look at the sign in my office and be reassured. Every person is forgiven, even me, Every sin is forgiven, even my worst one. Yours too, Heidi Gall. Faith step. Make your purchase, make make or purchase a sign that helps you accept the magnitude of his love and forgiveness. Hang it in, in a prominent spot to help you remember. I think this is a very important thing because... We all have a certain amount of guilt that um, we have for things that we've done in our lives. I know I do. Um, Things that just we beat ourselves up about. You know, that we constantly, gosh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? You know, even though maybe the the issue that, that whatever you did caused has been resolved. Maybe it's been years. Maybe it's been decades since you did whatever it was you did. And, you know, long people around you have long since forgotten and forgiven you for it. But you just can't forgive yourself. God has forgiven you for it. Why can't you forgive yourself for it? You know, and and, and then once you forgive yourself or, you know, or forgive that person, you know, you're free of that. You're free of that particular thing you know it's very freeing um i'll 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 explain my mother god bless her she hasn't always been a good person she let some things happen to me that she could have prevented when i was younger she said she moved us into a house with a pedophile that she didn't know at the time was that was and he groomed me for a year made me love him like a dad her first husband um my sister's dad had been a beater a drunkard and a beater and so i thought Rita won the lottery this this man was sweet he bought me things we didn't have to worry about the bills we didn't have to worry about food we had cable TV for the first time ever. Uh, 
things seem to be going wonderful. Read Snuggle with him like like you would your dad, you know. And then after about a year, he started sexually abusing me. And um, I think I was 12. And he manipulated my brain to the point where I thought that's what was supposed to happen. And I told my mother she did nothing. Needless to say, this has been a real big sore point. And it's taken a whole lot of therapy and a whole lot of medication to get past this. And she has begged for forgiveness. That old man has been long dead. He's been dead since 1998. And uh, it took me a long time to forgive her. But I didn't just forgive her for her. I forgave her for me. Because not forgiving her was doing me in. <sighs> Holding on to that animosity and hate and anger was doing my head in. It was damaging my psyche. And I'd done a lot of damage. <sighs> as a result of it. And so I had to forgive her. And um, his death brought his death freed me from that from him. I know that sounds strange, but. It was like it, it was it was like a weight off that he was gone, but um, it took me all my most of my adult life to forgive her, and for she and I to get to the place we are now. And I love my mom; I really do. She's worked hard to be who she is now, and um, I have to accept that, you know. That she's worked hard to be who she is now. And we have a good relationship now. We really do. And we never would have had that had it not been for forgiveness. Who am I not to forgive her when God can forgive her the worst? And letting your child go through the things that I went through, that's the worst. <sighs> As much as you think you're over something. And I survived it. I'm not a victim. I'm a survivor. It just still is hard. It's hard still. I hope y'all understand. <laughs> I'm going to leave this in the video because it might help somebody else. I don't normally cry in my videos, but this is a, this is important because I feel like somebody needs to hear this. If someone's let someone's hurt you this way, I'm not saying you forgive your abuser and let them have a have a relationship with you. I'm not saying that. I'm saying a parent that's let this happen to you that has work done the work. To be a better person. To uh, to gain your forgiveness. That person you forgive. And you get past it. Not the person who abused you. You stay away from that person. That doesn't, that doesn't go away. I have PTSD because of this. Because of what I've been through. I don't recommend. Trying to forgive the person. That did those things to you. I think that that's wrong. I, th I think you could forgive them from a distance. You don't need to have that person be in your life. Just my personal opinion. But my mother is a different story. She's the only parent I have. Never knew who my father was. So, it's important for me 
to forgive her because she asked and she begged for forgiveness. And she's worked hard for it. So that's important that I forgive her and get past it. So if you have a similar situation, forgive that parent, forgive that loved one, and and, and allow them to work for their, your forgiveness because you only get one mom, you only get one dad, one biological parent, anyway. Um, anyway, <sighs> thank you for listening. Uh, as usual, if you have a prayer request, please leave it in the comment section. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to these devotionals. Um, I believe they are doing me as much good as they are the rest of you. I love you all. Um, I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, God bless y'all, and I'll see you on the next one.